Welcome to Cake Desktop tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to set up the children and family profiles. Once you log into Cake Desktop, go to the Child tab. Here, under the Child tab, you can sort the categories however you want. The layout and format of these categories is the same for the children, family, and staff. Clicking on the categories themselves will sort them alphabetically or numerically. You can adjust the size of the categories, adjust the display of the picture size, and move them to another area. This small button to the left of the column is where you can choose to display or hide certain categories. For now, let's show picture, last name, first name, and date of birth. Another cool feature is if you would like to sort only by last name, you can drag the category itself into the top header. And there you have it, a list that is neatly sorted by last name. Now when you click on a last name, a list of children's names that share the same last name will be listed. These names are most likely siblings. When you are done, you can just drag it out. You can also search for a specific child with our innovative search bar. Let's search for Andre William. Note that you do not need to fill out the child's name completely. You can partially spell their names and the list will be filtered out accordingly. Lastly, everything you see here can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet by clicking this button down below. One thing to note is that you cannot delete a child's profile. What you can do, however, is inactivate their profiles. If the child no longer attends your childcare facility, let's say Joe and Michael Carter will no longer be enrolled at my childcare facility, I will now proceed to inactivate their profile by double-clicking on their profile and checking the inactive status under their profile photo. And now they will be hidden. You can choose to show inactive children at the top next to the search bar here. So if they decide to come back, you can reactivate their accounts. The process of inactivating a profile is the same for the children, family, and staff. The purpose of not allowing you to delete the child's profile is because Cake Desktop keeps an accounting record of everyone. In Cake Desktop, there is absolutely no limit on how many children's profile you can have. You can either have a handful of children or thousands of children. Let's create a child's profile. First, click the Add button. Here, you will fill out all of the basic information of the child, such as name, age, and gender. Next, fill out her contact information. If it is the same as her parents, you can search for them by clicking the search button, and when you have selected them, as you can see, their information is all displayed here. Adding and editing of the profile photo will be covered in the profile photo video tutorial. Here, you can pick out the mother and father. Simply click on the search button and find them. There is a handy search bar near the top to help narrow down your search to find the right parent. And of course, you can add a parent right from the child's profile without having to leave it and go to the Families tab. But we will cover that shortly. You can also edit the parent's information right from the child's profile. So after finding both the child's mother and father, select their marital status and you're done with this tab. As you can see, all of the parent's information is neatly displayed for your personal use. The next tab is Authorized Persons tab. Here you can add authorized persons to the child's account that is granted with either pickup permission or an emergency contact. Most authorized persons will comprise of close family members and trusted friends. So let us add a few. Click the Add button, and let's search for Anna's grandmother, Annabelle Lewis. She is allowed to pick up Anna Haynes and be contacted in case of an emergency. Under the Relationship detail, we will put Grandmother. Let us add a couple more, such as Jan and Jack Cook, which are close friends of Anna's parents and who are allowed to be contacted in case of an emergency. In the next tab, we have the health, which is where you can assign a hospital, doctor, dentist, health insurance, and immunization records to Anna's profile. Let's add Anna's primary hospital. 
If you have viewed our configuration tutorial, you will see where all these templates originated from. Let's pick the Town General Hospital. Next, fill out the department name and number if available. Under the Doctors tab, you can add a doctor's contact information in case of an emergency. So, Dr. Mendoza is Anna's allergen doctor, whom should be contacted if need be. Same applies to the Dentist tab. Under the Insurance tab is where you can add the child's health insurance. Simply click the search button and either create one by clicking the add button or choosing an existing insurance right from the list. We already have ARG's information saved on this list, so we will use that for now. And lastly is the immunization records. Here you can add shots and the dates that they were administered to keep on file. The next big tab over is the schools tab. Here if the child is attending a school, you can add the information and its schedule. Under the Notes and Allergy tab, you can add miscellaneous notes and things that Anna is allergic to. Anna is allergic to peanuts, so let's put that in. Under the Additional Information tab, you have fields that are not required to be filled out, but helpful. And the Documents tab is where you can upload shot records, immunization papers, enrollment forms, and other files. Right-clicking on the files will give you three options to either open, export, or delete. What you might notice is that the Siblings tab is not shown here. To reveal the Siblings tab, you will first have to save the profile, then close it, then open it back up again. As you can see, after closing and opening up Anna's profile again, the Siblings tab will appear. Here, you can add Siblings to Anna's profile. Click the Add button and let's find Anna's older sister, Margaret Haynes, and her older brother, Jacob Haynes. After saving, you have then successfully created a child's profile. We would like to thank you for watching this video, and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.